the UN Comtrade Database represents the world's largest repository of bilateral trade data, covering more than 50 years in 170 countries. After a harmonization step to resolve bilateral trade discrepancies, the dataset can be represented as a set of complex, time-varying edge weighted graphs containing trade flows for a number of different commodity classes. The complexity of this data set poses a significant challenge to visualization systems, leading to issues such as scalability, overplotting, visual clutter and visual data separation. And thus we start by creating a radial layout based on the given hierarchy. Referring to a state's landing status, the first level is divided into Global North and Global South. The Global North consists of high-income economies such as the United States, Canada, Western Europe and developed parts of East Asia. On the other hand, the Global South is made up of Africa, Latin America, developing Asia and the Middle East. All countries and classifications are depicted as nodes on concentric circles whereas the adjacent links between two states are represented as splines. Subsequently, we are unable to effectively reduce visual clutter due to weighted edge bundling. The original edge bundling algorithm uses only one parameter to control all splines. This leaves information hidden as overplotting occurs. Therefore, we use a second parameter in our prototype. Inverse to the first one, our new parameter is used to ease the bundling strength. Furthermore, it scales with the amount of traded goods. In conclusion, this gives both information about a developing trend in the data and reveals outliers. This visualization allows the user to explore and compare the development of certain countries and commodities. Analyzing the total amount of traded goods, one can clearly see the growing impact of China on the global trade network. Notice how the global south is constantly growing over time. Analyzing the import and export of crude materials, at first the user can see an overall growing market. Starting in 2002, the export of Australia drastically increases as well as the import of China.